So now I'm going to make some squares. And there's two different situations for squares. One of them is uh, where the segment is one side and the other is inscribing it in a circle. So we'll do these one at a time. Let's go ahead and do this one first. So what I want coming off of one of these sides is a 90 degree angle, whatever direction I wanna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend this a little bit and then I'm going to swing this around. I could do any length that I want, but I might as well just use that. I already have that point. So notice if I swing this around, now that's the midpoint of this segment. So I'm going to make a perpendicular bisector for this. So I'm going to use an arc a little longer than the arc that I just used. And right now what I'm doing is I'm making the 90 degree angle. So this right here should be a 90 degree angle. So notice I have this side and then I have my 90 degree angle. So one thing I know about a square is it has all equal sides. So now I'm going to go back and fix to this. I've got it there. I'm going to bring it down and arc it to there because now I know that this is another side of this square. And I'm going to keep, keep that fixed, that length fixed, and I'm swinging out for that length in this direction, and I'll swing out for that length in this direction as well. There's my other corner of the square, and there's my square that I constructed and remember, I started with this length. I was given this length. So let me do it in a circle now. Um, so first off, I'm just going to pick a point, arbitrary point on here, bring it straight across. Boom, like that. These are going to be two parts of the square. These are going to be opposite uh, vertices, like this, like, like this and this. And so now what I'm going to do is uh, um, I'm going to perpendicular bisect this. So... Fix that down. I'll make this a little bit bigger. It, it, I can do it inside or outside, whatever. I like to do it outside. It just looks a little better to me. Um, so perpendicular bisector for this segment. That's the diameter of the circle. I'm going to adjust this a little bit more. I'm getting very fussy about it. Okay. So arc it up to here. Arc it down to here. Maybe I should go a little smaller. <laughs> I'll just use a smaller one so it'll show on the camera. Arc it. I'll arc it up to here, arc it down to here. Then from this side, same thing. So notice what I have now is perpendicular bisector to that. So if I extend it, it goes like this. And now where it intersects the circle, those are my other two vertices for the square. Connect them, and I have a square inscribed in a circle. 